Well, I have one. I have another like ten one somewhere. <laughs> it's I'm just kind of gone for a walk.
Hello there, um, <coughs> VC, Vinyl Community. So yeah, um, you've seen the footage, car boot sale. Um, yeah, I came home with a few, a few records. I think there's four, four singles. Um, I came home with four albums, um, two of which were the same. Um, and I've already given one of those away to a friend of mine, um, VCLT, I suppose, but um, he he doesn't get involved in all this record videos and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'll explain more in a bit. Oh, and I've got, I've got a couple of music CDs and a music-based DVD as well. Um, so, yeah. First up. Uh, bad manners, heavy petting. This was brand new in the shrink, never been opened, of course, never been played. Um, it's a reissue from uh, last year. Let's put that down there. Originally, um came out in the um, second half of the 90s nice gatefold um, she looks like somebody I used to date years ago <laughs> uh, that's, that's not me in a compromising position either <laughs> um, coloured vinyl if I can persuade it to come out bloody sleeve oh come on nick what the hell are you playing out here boy there we go hooray hoorah the cat lives white vinyl very nice i couldn't care less if it was black vinyl but um that's the way it came so, so there you go yeah it was a good Good reasonable price. Um, not a bad album. Not their best. In, in all honesty, their very first album, Scar and B, is my absolute favourite by them. But still, this um, does help in some way to. Uh, I can't get these bloody things back in. Oh, to get on my nerves. Oh, matron. Oh, there you go, bugger it. Um, so yeah, it goes some way to uh, completing the Bad Manners collection. He had another Bad Manners one there. So I picked this one up as well. I hope you're seeing these all okay. I'm still having problems with the light in this room. And um, this seems to be the best sort of compromise holding them up this way to show you. 
Rare and Fatty unreleased recording 76 to 97. This one I think was originally released in 99. Again, last year reissue. And uh, gatefold as well. Hope you can uh, see that okay. And this one as well came on a uh, coloured vinyl. And again, I, I mean, I, I honestly ain't bothered if it's coloured vinyl, splattered, whatever, black vinyl. It's a nice sort of uh, red colour. Shade of red, and that one. Oh, what's the label? I wish I put my glasses on now. I don't know. It's it's that bloody small. I oh, I can't read the. I can't read the blooming print. Um. So yeah, and again, I can't get the bloody thing back in. Um, Audio Platter Limited is the label. Never heard of that one before. Um, yeah, where it is is the odd sort of um, sort of uh, cover version on here. Not a bad album. Again, not that brilliant, but it was certainly doing a crisis. And again, it it goes some way to uh, completing my bad bad manners collection. What I'm going to do later on tonight, I'll. Uh, I'll make a list of um, the albums, artists I'm collecting and what I need etc etc so I can concentrate on getting them all done. The same seller, um, he also had two of these. This is On Sunset by Paul Weller. Um, it says on here limited edition coloured vinyl. But this is brand new in the shrink, never been opened, never been played, so I honestly wouldn't know. And um, if I'm completely honest, I'm not a fan of Paul Weller's solo stuff. The Jam, yes, loved them to bits. Style Council, hated them at first, grew to like them. I've got a load of Style Council records behind me in the collection. Solo stuff, no way, Jose. No, thank you. Just, just doesn't do anything for me. Um, so, yeah, this is on Polydor. A little bit of a dink in the corner there. Just a, nothing really. And a split on the top there. Now, I'm just having a feel. And I think this must have been done before it was wrapped up because the wrap is over the uh the split at the top there but it doesn't matter it doesn't affect the playing of the record for god's sakes um yeah the other one it's already gone vclt to a friend of mine good friend of mine um this one's up for vclt as well so uh i, I am sort of in the process of uh sorting this one out um I've yet to hear back from the person concerned, so um, we'll wait and see on that one. I did pick up some seven inch singles, I've got four here. Um, if I can pick the bloody things up, they're slippery as eels. Uh, nine 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 homicide. Hope you can see that all okay. No picture sleeve, but um, I, I couldn't tell you whether it came in a company sleeve or a picture sleeve in the first place. Perhaps uh, Mike Ryan will spiral knows. He might even have it himself. I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah, that was dirt cheap, only a pound. Most singles go for a pound or 50p or under. Dependent. And a lot of it depends on how many you buy and you get a discount. Pleased to get hold of that. Good tune. This one, I'll put these down. Bow Wow Wow, Prince of Darkness. 
cracking tune this is the uh burundi sort of drumming um re really makes it a, a, a good tune i i don't recall how well it did in the charts back in the day was it on their first album i, I can't remember but it came with a fold out um poster sleeve i don't want to be doing this too often because it's starting to split as it is it's not in the best of condition but um still a good thing to have i suppose if you're looking at um how much it's worth overall which i ain't particularly bothered about anyway the song orangutan is on the b-side so yeah prince of darkness bow wow wow cracking cracking song that is cracking tune slide that back in the sleeve okay moving swiftly on um big time peter gabriel more famous for that um sledgehammer tune and the video that's on a on virgin and um yeah sledgehammer was all right it, it's one of those tunes that oh oh yeah wow and the video fabulous all oh, brilliant after a while it just got on my bloody nerves it was being played several times during the day by radio stations and um you'd see the video on telly and just had an, had enough of it big times cracking tune i really like that one the other one by him i'd like to get hold of and seven inch single is um steam that was a good tune i enjoyed that one so yeah big time peter gabriel more than happy with that finally i managed to find a record by a young up-and-coming artist <laughs> i'm sure you've never heard of cars gary new <laughs> yes another one to add to the ever-growing cars collection on the good old beggars banquet label um cars e-reg model backed by our friends electric which um re um saturday it's our friends electric along with gangsters by the specials they, they were both released on the same day same date both celebrated the 44 uh, 45th um excuse me 45th birthday so yeah extremely pleased to find another one of these if i do find a copy of cars with a picture sleeve um i'll pick it up i can't i can't bear to leave it got to bring it home to the the gary newman cars sanctuary where, where it can run free and uh live a life and and be loved forevermore <laughs> what a load of old cobblers i love it though if it, like i say if i do see them i'll pick them up i'll buy them can't 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 bear to see him being left behind one of my favorite songs of all time there you go cars gary newman i did pick up uh, a couple of cds and a music based dvd these are ones that used to be given away free with the sunday papers here in britain to, um, a few years ago um music based film Gu guilty pleasure of mine oliver musical the one we're probably all familiar with Lionel Bart's Oliver um yeah it's the full film I've already got a copy of this and it's um already promised to somebody brilliant film absolutely love it brilliant one of my favorites I also picked up um Simple Minds once upon a time I'm not a massive Simple Minds fan. They're, they're okay. They do have a bit of a connection with Gary Newman, though, and our friends Electric. But that, that's for a, a, another day. Once upon a time on here, all the things she said, 
Ghost Dancing, Alive and Kicking. That's not a bad tune. Oh, oh, Jungle Land, I Wish You Were Here. Sanctify Yourself, that's not a bad tune. I, I don't mind the odd song by then. I could happily sing along to them and stamp my feet and clap my hands and slap my thighs and whatever. So yeah, again, that's already promised to somebody. Um, this is probably the pick of the bunch, as far as CDs are concerned, the free ones. I've, I've never seen this before and I've never heard of it, but to be honest, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the bloke anyway. So, uh, Paul McCartney live in Los Angeles. And this was um, done at uh, yeah, an Amoeba store, a show, I believe. Tracks on here, Drive My Car, Only Mama Knows. Dance Tonight, Kamoon, um, That Was Me, Blackbird, Here Today, Back in the USSR, Get Back, Hey Jude, Lady Madonna, I was, I saw her standing there, a bit of a write up on the back as well, this has to be the most surreal gig ever, the management has asked me to point out no shoplifting please and that's by Paul McCartney June the 27th 2007 so yeah if I, see, if, I see, if I see any more of these freebies at the car boot sales I will have a damn good look through them see what I can pick up um, I'm not particularly bothered about keeping them myself so um, I'll, you know I'll, I'll always give them away so um, yeah we'll see how it goes so that was it from the car boot sale at um, Huntington, just off the A14. Um, yeah, so when the weather's fine and I'm able to, I'll be going to a few more and um, let's see what treasures we can find. God bless you. God bless you, Mary Poppins. Bye for now. Cheerio. Oh, God, there go my bloody knees. Oh.